Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Thursday review, Chris, from Chris B Movies. And you know my name is Chris, and you know I love B Movies. Next week is Theme Week. It's all about child playing Chucky. Oh, yeah. Our all time favorite killer doll. So, in preparation for that, I figured I'd do another killer dolls movie. Oh, yeah. It's from Full Moon Pictures, and it's written, directed, and produced by Charles One Man Band. And the film is titled Doll Graveyard. It's this one right here. And it's even playing in the back as well. Doll Graveyard. And it's a film from 2005, by the way. So I'm going to give you a little synopsis of this one. Some of you may have seen this. If you've seen everything from Full Moon Pictures, you've probably have seen this one before. On oh, that small deck just sat. The disc doesn't look so good, but it was good enough to see, watch, and enjoy, so... Who's complaining here? And it's a killer doll film by Charles Band, who created some of the greatest killer dolls of all time. Oh, yeah. So here is the synopsis, okay? Check this out. 100 years ago, in 1911, little Sophia, she's a loner. She doesn't have any friends. The only friends are these handmade dolls that she has. She has this samurai doll, which is really cool. This little girl baby doll, which is so cool. This, like, general, war general uh, killer doll as well. So she's playing with them in her house and having a good time. And all of a sudden, I know it, she takes one of the dolls, flips it in the air, and she knocks down this vase, which is probably a really expensive vase. Now, her father, hearing this, her very abusive father, as you can see in the back, comes down and reprimands her and tells her, what did I tell you about playing with these dolls? And he has this British accent. She has this American accent, so... Uh, not know where they were going with that, but... Whatever. So he takes a strap out, and she's pleading, No, Daddy, please, please don't, please don't, please don't! And instead of whooping, he's like, oh, I've got something even better, even better punishment for you. So evilly said, in his British dialect, he takes her out, he says, Bring your dolls outside in the backyard. So he makes her dig this big, huge hole, and he makes her bury the doll. So while she's digging the hole, while she's putting each doll in, she's very distraught by this because basically these dolls are her only friends. She kind of falls back into the hole and basically breaks her neck and dies. So her father seeing this is like, oh, Sophia, Sophia. But then he just redigs the hole, patches it up, and just moves on with his life. Now, cue 100 years later, the Philbrook family move into that same house in Los Angeles, California. And you've got Guy, who's really big into collecting action figures and dolls, and Dee Dee, his, um, sister. And her fa his father, well, I should say their father, looks suspiciously like the man, the father, uh, Sophia's father. That was there 100 years ago. Maybe he's a time traveler? It's never really discussed in this film. You know? They don't really tell you, but it's kind of insinuated that this guy may be a time traveler and traveled 100 years into the future and had kids again. And... Although, a nicer version of himself. So anyway, guys into big into collecting action figures. So one night, the father's like, hey, um, I'm gonna go on a date tonight. And Dee Dee was like, oh no, I was gonna go out with the girl. He's like, no, you have to sit and take care of your brother guy. And they have that pretty much sister brother-sister relationship with the sister who never gets along with the brother. You know, she feels he's a nuisance, and she tells, but dad, I'm going out with the girls. Why can't he stay alone? The father's like, I said, you will babysit, and you will clean the whole house. You will clean the inside, he will clean the outside. You know? Take care of the yard. Man, do all the outside work. You do all the inside work. And so she's like, oh, okay. Begrudgingly says it. So while she's getting her father ready for the day, there's kind of a cutesy moment where she's doing his ties and have fun, daddy. So the father leaves for the date, and now she calls up the girls. Oh yeah. And she says, Olivia and Terry, come on over. We're gonna have a party at my house. So Olivia and Terry come over. And so Guy seeing this, um, says, Ooh, I'm gonna tell dad. And Olivia is kind of like the stuck-up blonde girl and uh, basically just makes fun of Guy. Now, Guy, like Sophia, the girl in the beginning, he's alone and has no friends. The only friends he has is these action figures that he has. So Olivia just basically makes fun of him. But um, her other friend, Terry, is really fond of Guy and is always really nice and is one of the pure 
characters. So, you know, in any group of friends, there's always that stuck-up, snobby person. There's also the sweet one who drinks minimally, doesn't take drugs. And then there's, of course, the mean sister. So anyway, um, so Guy goes back to his room, he's like, whatever. And while he's on his, before he can get to his room, these two guys, uh, who are also friends of his sister Dee Dee, come in and they bring him into this room. They kind of bully him around, kind of like they bullied him around in school. And they basically just make fun of him. They take one of his action figures, they just bought, newly bought action figure. They were so happy to have him. They put it on the ground, he stomped it and basically racked the freaking thing. And they basically tied him up to his bed. <laughs> So guys, like, all distraught, trying to get out again, couldn't get out. So the guys end up joining the party with the girls while they're drinking champagne, smoking weed, just partying their asses off. And then Guy hears these voices, and Guy, we're here for you, we're coming, we're coming. And basically, it's the dolls that were buried by Sophia. Now, he had... While doing the yard work, he had got the samurai down and kind of cleaned it off and was in his room. And um, after he cleaned it off, you see the samurai guys, samurai doll's eyes moving. But you know this thing is alive and well. So the samurai basically leaves the uh, county area and goes out and digs out all the other dolls and get, brings the, all, the, all the other dolls with him. <laughs> and so now they're in the house... He had to protect Guy from any of the bullies trying to hurt him. But what we didn't know is that these dolls are actually possessed by Sophia because Sophia was buried with these dolls. So basically, these dolls come to life and they kill off the two guys, which the two guys were really horrible characters. You wanted to see them get killed. They were bullies. <laughs> one, of, one of the guys gets so drunk that when he sees one of the dolls, he starts having a conversation with it. <laughs> Which is a really odd scene. I mean, if I seen a doll was move, moving, I don't care how drunk I was. I was like, what the frick? <laughs> we start having a conversation, and then the doll freaking pokes his eye out. So once the guys are killed, um, Guy eventually ends up getting possessed by Sophia and keeps coming in and out of consciousness between Guy and Sophia. Guy and Sophia. And <clears throat> now he has this conflict that after he's seen what the dolls are doing, he's trying now to protect his sister and the women. But, will the women make it out safe? Will they be able to escape these killer dolls? <laughs> will the father come home and be attacked by one of the dolls? Ah, uh, yes, he does. And yes, he does get attacked by one of the dolls. <laughs> will Sophia leave? Guy's vessel of body. <clears throat> and will Guy come back to reality? You'll find out by watching Doll Graveyard. I gotta say, the dolls are really cool in this movie. I love the samurai doll. <laughs> and the samurai doll can make things out. <laughs> and then they got this African Aborigine doll that goes, Ooga, Ooga, Ooga. Kind of like um, Sophia did when she was playing with him in the beginning. And then there's this little baby girl doll. And she basically bites people and stuff. Her jaws come up, saliva comes out, and she actually, like, bit one of the girl's faces, Olivia. <laughs> Which, you know, I can't say I did not enjoy because the, Olivia is really cocky and arrogant and has this kind of vanity about herself. So when the doll bit her face, I kind of pull it a little bit. <clears throat> but anyway, this is your typical Charles Band film, man. I've seen Puppet Master. Demonic Toys, any of Charles Band's film, you know what you're getting. Low-budget greatness, great dolls, oh yeah, and a whole lot of fun to be had. Annoying teenagers, teenage characters, that you kind of wish these dolls were off. I mean, you root for the dolls the whole, whole movie. Come on, come on, man. But anyway... If you've seen any Full Moon pictures, you'll know if you want to check this one out or not. It's a killer doll film. It's a lot of fun. All right? I give it a four. I enjoyed the hell out of it from beginning to end. It's only an hour and 12 minutes, guys. It's a quick watch. Um, doll Graveyard, I'm not sure if it's on Blu-ray or not. I just picked up this set for like five bucks at Walmart. Way back in the day. Oh, yeah. Kind of forgot I had it. Kind of was looking at it. It was like, Doll Graveyard. Sounds good. Let's watch it. 
Anyways, I'm glad I'm gl glad I did. And if you want to see a good killer doll movie, check down, check out Doll Graveyard with some cool looking dolls killing up some annoying teenagers and messing their faces up as well. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna tell you the rest of it because ain't gonna ruin the rest of it for you. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, check out Doll Graveyard. It's playing in the back. You watch it free on YouTube. Oh yeah. <laughs> so if you don't want to buy the thing, watch it free on YouTube. A lot of Charles Band's films are on YouTube as well. So, and check it out next week because we're doing the Chucky series. Oh, yeah. And check out these other awesome reviewers here on Body Bags. They put a lot of time and effort to reviewing great films, or fun films, for you. And telling you whether they're worth watching or not. I had a good time watching Doll Graveyard. Will you have a good time watching it? You know from the review I gave you. Anyways, check out those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Rags. Or Fright Mags. But where are your Fright Rags? Cat in the Brain? Anyone? But don't forget to tune in to another episode of Body Bags. And if you're not doing anything for an hour and 12 minutes, check out Doll Graveyard on YouTube. Or buy this thing for five bucks. It has other great films on it, too. Like Zombie Dearest. Maybe do that one soon. Check you later, guys. See you next time.